Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. As you can see from the title, I am packing for Dubai within this vlog, which is so, so exciting. I actually cannot believe I am off to get some sun in a couple of days. So without further ado, I am going to start this vlog off with packing and prepping and showing you what's new in because I feel like this time of year, either people have holidays now up and coming or we're just very done with this weather and everyone's craving to book a holiday because right now when I'm filming this, it is chucking it down. Outside, it is horrendous. So I am literally smiling from ear to ear because I know that I'm going to Dubai in a couple of days and nothing fills me more with joy than it is crappy weather here <laughs> and I am escaping to the sun and I'm actually going on holiday with my mum which is going to be so cute we're going to Dubai with our best friend who I've grown up with which is just so lovely so I'm best friends with the daughter my mum's actually best friends with her mum and she's they're pretty much like my second family I call them my second mum and dad Amber has actually moved out there for work and living and Sarah and Nick are there pretty much 24-7 if you just want to lie down and just relax and just eat really good food and dress up it is the place for you and I'm so excited to go back out there I'm so excited to bring my mum along with me I'm so excited it's just like me and mum it's gonna be a proper girls trip we haven't done a girls trip in such a long time so it's going to be so so lovely so we're going out there on Thursday for four nights so I wanted within this video to be able to hold myself accountable with packing really organized and very well four outfits for day and four outfits for night and then I'm going to show you what's new in new in accessories my cosmetic bag and I hope you enjoy this video like always everything will be linked down below if it's still available if not I'll link some similar pieces as well so I think I'm going to start with day wear first I've set it all out for us to go through as I've got some old pieces that I'm planning on wearing and also some new pieces so let's get into it. I have an array of beautiful pieces to try on for the daytime. I have some new in pieces. I have some old pieces that I really want to wear because I just love them. You can see I've got some pieces that I do need to try on so I thought it would be fun to try on together. So the first delivery is from a company called Owen and Ray and I actually do have their bikini in black and with black trousers which I absolutely adore. So I'm definitely going to be taking them because they are like I think hands down it's my favorite bikini I own and I thought I would try it on in white to see if I like it in white as well because if you like a bikini I feel like you cannot go wrong with getting it in different colors and again I love the trousers so I am going to try them on in the animal print as well because I've just got so much wear out of the trousers so I've just put on both the pieces and absolutely adore it's a nice bandeau bikini top and kind of like high-waisted high-rise bikini bottoms the trousers in the mesh material and I absolutely adore them they're just super comfortable super flattering they're not over the top they're not too exposing that's the only thing with Dubai styling I get a little bit nervous with how covered up I need to be however this is just a really lovely pair of trousers which I can see myself wearing with like a little white shirt or a cover-up I love that it's stretchy as well so very comfortable so I wanted to show you the black trousers as well I love these I literally wear these so much and out of the two I definitely think I want to wear these more because I literally wore them to death in Bali they're just super comfortable super flattering also as well you can wear them in the evening which is really lovely also this string is detachable as well continuing on from that haul whilst I've got these trousers on I wanted to show you what I did have in mind and it's from a company called Rosé and it's a beautiful Paris brand and you probably saw in my previous vlog that I picked up a couple of pieces for spring to wear at home however I have two pieces from now that I wanted to share with you that I would love to wear 
in Dubai. I was thinking about wearing this in the day. However, this is so beautiful. It's this really beautiful thick satin puffy off the sleeve top. I just thought with these satin trousers would look incredible for during the day. However, this could actually be a really lovely evening attire as well. So we've killed two birds with one stone here, but it's so beautiful and so comfortable. My idea with it was it's quite easy to just chuck on on top of a bandu bikini because I feel sometimes when you wear bandu bikinis they look a little bit funny with a top over the top. So I just thought having this in my bag just to chuck on when I'm going for lunch, if we're doing a day at a kind of like a pool party or something like that, this is just really gorgeous and elegant but again this would also look really lovely for the evening dressed up with some heels this is so cute this is another piece from rosie and i've just paired it with the odemary white bikini and oh my goodness she is so cute what i love about this as well is i can definitely pair these separately as well which would be really lovely so these trousers could be really nice with a shirt and then this with a pair of jeans in the summer at home this is perfection so this is from the rosie paris brand as well and i just love the details it's this beautiful floral detail and it's so sweet it's a little bit see-through but i think i might be okay in the hotel love the details of it very comfortable it's definitely an outfit that i wear down to the beach or around the pool but for breakfast i think i'd have to cover up with a shirt because it is a little bit see-through on the bum but other than that i think it is so pretty next up is from a company called the beach cafe this is a really incredible company that hold an array of different beachwear designers so if you are on the hunt for a one-shop destination for some incredible pieces then I definitely check out the beach cafe so I picked up a bikini from away that day a really sweet high-waisted two-piece giving very like vintage vibes it is so so cute and then i also picked up this really beautiful crochet dress from a company called honorine okay so this is the beach dress on i love the details i really like this square crochet i think this looks so lovely a little bit see-through so what i've been doing is taking pictures of my outfits and actually sending them over to my friends and also as well when it comes to packing i can kind of look through my phone and decide what i actually want to take what i actually felt nice in this is so so beautiful it's such a cute little crochet dress to just chuck on and again i've just paired it with white accessories it's just a really easy throw on crochet dress which is really lovely but it might be a tiny bit see-through for dubai next up is a two-piece from arquette which i was really excited to give this a go however i am very sad that it is ankle bashers i thought it was going to be down to the floor and i'm really sad about it because it's so beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to definitely send this over to my mum and Amber and see what they think because the quality and the style of this is so beautiful. I really like this really soft pasty colour. It's a colour palette I can definitely get on board with. But yeah, I'm I'm not too sure on the ankle bashes. <laughs> it's really sad, but other than that, I really love this. It's so beautiful. I don't know if it's actually designed to be pyjamas or it's kind of in a pajama style what i did really love about it as well is that it came with a matching scarf so it's a really lovely free piece so you can either wear it as a band do as well or it can be an accessory on your basket bag it can be a little bandana on your head a neck design and i just really love this free piece but i'm just not too sure about the ankle basher situation like that's the thing which is throwing me off a little bit if it was down to the floor I would 100% keep it but for this look I just think they've really ruined it with creating ankle bashes instead of having it long lined it's such a shame I'm wondering what it would actually look like dressed up with some heels okay so it definitely has changed tuned when I've paired it with heels however no it's not very given is it it's got a massive tag here that's why it looks a bit funny here I adore this colour so much I'm so gutted that it is a long line it's 200 pounds for the set so I feel like it's not worth it if I'm not going to be able to wear these trousers it's just such a shame I really wish they were long line because 
that would have made this outfit so cool. But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to say a very sad no to this look. Apologies for the nudity, but how beautiful is this bikini? So this is from Away That Day via Beach Cafe, and it is so stunning. It's just so flattering. I love the details. It's adjustable at the back as well. I absolutely love these black and white contrasting, kind of like off the shoulder straps. It's just so elegant. And then paired with this beautiful cinched in high waist. And then it's a adjustable little bow detail here. I just think this looks so so cute and super comfortable as well so i'm definitely taking this i will leave the sizing down below as well but i believe it's a small to try this on with a old piece in my wardrobe which is from and other stories and i absolutely love this crochet dress it's just so beautiful i wore this last time in dubai and actually they were okay with me wearing it so i think crochet should be okay but it is just a long black maxi dress it literally hits the floor it's so beautiful i'm not too sure maybe on the contrasting panel with this however because it is like nude maybe it's a little bit more covered with had been a little bit more high waisted but i absolutely love this this may be a proper beach day look we're going to the drift I think it's called for a day and apparently it's beautiful there so I think this might be the attire I go for so this is what it looks like for body I've just paired it with my old cos clutch bag because the beauty of going to Dubai and the hotels is that they have towels for you so you don't actually really need to take much so I thought I would pair it with this quite oversized raffia clutch bag and I think it just finishes off the outfit really nice so I'm either gonna wear this dress either with this bikini or or with my Odom Ray black one. This is definitely an outfit that I will be wearing on one of the days to the beach. So the next bikini is from Away That Day as well in the black, quite similar to the Odom Ray one and similar bottoms as well actually. The next outfit I'm going to try on is my Lebecca two-piece, the really gorgeous two-piece which comes in brown, navy and white I believe. I picked up the brown because I just adore this colour so much. Proper into this, it's so gorgeous. A really easy piece to just chuck on when we're heading down for breakfast. Again, paired with a raffia bag and some sandals. Just super easy to chuck on. I also love this for the evening as well, if it's a bit more of a casual evening. This with the gold heels would look so beautiful. So this is how it looks like in the mirror. Easy to just chuck on on top of a bikini. I absolutely love this and got so much wear out of this last year in England, Bali, everywhere. I absolutely adore it and it's just so comfortable. Just paired with some sandals and a beach bag, you're just good to go. And like I said, it does come in other colours. So I'm hoping it's still available. It was last season, so hopefully it is still in stock. Yeah, I absolutely love this. So this is a definite yes from me. A little confused about this one. So I'm trialing on the brown version of the Arquette. Oh, the Arquette set that I tried on in the really gorgeous Paisley. And it is a little bit longer on my legs. So yeah, so this is the Arquette set in the chocolate brown and it goes all the way down to my ankles which is very bizarre i absolutely just love this all brown look it's so luxurious i don't know if wearing silk is a good idea around the pool because i feel like that might actually ruin the material so maybe i just hold off for this one but i do love this look i think this looks so gorgeous and then i can pop it up when i'm going for lunch and i still look really put together okay i had a little break and just got my myself into my first evening attire and it's a dress that I actually wore to my friend's wedding last year it's from forever new and it's just so pretty I absolutely adore it it's this really lovely chocolate brown linen maxi dress and I want to style it with some gold accessories I've got my gold new sandals from mango and then a gold 
clutch bag. And I just feel like this is such a lovely, very lovely dressy but very minimal attire and I just love it. Also it could be worn with sandals but I think I'm going to dress it up with this. Don't know if you can actually hear outside it's chucking it down. So this is how it looks all together. Just a very cute, very easy summer dressy outfit. It's quite dressy in Dubai so I wanted to make sure I fitted the attire and I feel like this does it, it justice and I absolutely love this dress. It's super comfortable and flattering. I'm just so glad that I've been able to get another wear out of it so I've just styled it with some mango heels and my Le Weffler Randler gold little clutch bag. I actually adore when you have outfits that you just want to wear time and time again. So my next outfit that I'm going to be wearing for one of the evenings is my dish dress, which I just love so much. It's so chic. It's a really lovely off-the-shoulder kind of top, so I need to wear a little bandeau underneath. I'm going to pair it with the Bottega bag that I'm renting from Cocoon. And then again, my gold heels, because they are so pretty and such a lovely summer heel. I don't actually have a black pair of heels. I have a brown pair of heels which could look quite nice but I just love the gold. I feel like I can just get so much wear out of them and they just look very effortless which I just love. So I'm going to pair them with this. I just really love again it's like a really nice easy linen piece and um, I can really dress this up with some really statement earring. I absolutely adore this brand. This is a Australian brand. I have a couple of pieces from them from previous years but I just adore how just it's very timeless this outfit is. This is the dress. I really like the length of it. I think it just looks really cute. The Bottega bag, gold heels. I just feel like you just cannot go wrong. So very happy about this little look. Very easy, very comfortable. Girlies, she is on a roll. Honestly, very, very happy how organized I feel. So this is my third outfit for one of the nights. It's a really gorgeous top from And Other Stories. And I I do have it in brown as well, but I picked it up in the white because I knew this is how I wanted to style it for one of the nights. It just gives such gorgeous cult Gaia vibes. I absolutely adore it. And then I've just paired it with some white shorts and then some gold accessories because I feel like these are the only accessories I'm going to wear in Dubai for the evening. And then I've just popped on my shell earrings from Saru because I need to get wear out of those. So I just thought this was a really lovely cult Gaia inspired look and I just am absolutely here for it. I absolutely adore it and it just looks so classic. I also really want to wear this in England in the summer as well. I just know I'm going to get so much wear out of it. It's so beautiful. Hopefully it's still in stock because it is just such a stunning little outfit. So outfits are done which is probably the longest part of the packing situation. What I've actually done is create a album on my photos of my outfits so I know what to put with what and so I have my beach outfits all together I also have then the going into the evening outfits all together so I have them there ready to go so when I'm packing I can see what looks good together and I know that I feel comfortable in these pieces because it gets to a point sometimes if you don't take for me personally if I don't take photos I don't know fully what I'm wearing or if I feel good in it then I start randomly packing random bits and bobs that I actually don't need. So it's good to have this on my phone. Very happy with that. So let's get packing now and get that all organized. I'm gonna iron everything and then we can go on to the next bit of the job. So I have packed away my clothes, my bikinis. I feel like that part of the packing is just the most nightmare bit. But I thought I'd sit down and show some other like new in pieces that I'm going to be packing away. I'm not going to show you everything because I did think when I am in Dubai, I think I am going to vlog. And I think I'm going to do it in a more of a sense of what I wear in a day. Because I don't think I really want to vlog too much. But I'll just show you my outfits. So I'll do like a what I wear on holiday kind of edit. But yeah, I thought I'd quickly show you a couple of pieces that are new in the wardrobe. And then you'll see some other pieces when I... I am actually on holiday. First up, I was just about to pack away some new fresh pajamas. I picked up this range, this set 
from H&M. It's a really lovely black two-piece. I have it in blue and I absolutely love it. So I thought I'd grab it in the black and I get it in a size small and it's just so comfortable. The most perfect little two-piece for wearing on holiday and in the summer. I just love these sets so much and so affordable and the quality of them are incredible. I then have a couple of things that I wanted to go through like fragrances. I've kindly been sent two fragrances from two lovely brands. So the first one is from Byredo. This is the Rose of No Man's Land and I actually have kindly been sent this because I am actually working with Space NK on a fragrance campaign and I picked out this fragrance because I'm really into my rose fragrances at the moment. I just think it's just so beautiful. So I wanted to pick this one up and give it a go beautifully presented like i said i'm just really into my kind of not your classic rose fragrances when i think of rose fragrances i think of like quite elderly rose fragrances i'm looking for like the modern ones like the modern the modern rose scent that is beautiful it's quite citrusy which is really lovely so it's got a blend of pink pepper red rose raspberry bloom paprius and amber so it's really what i wanted a really like modernized rose scent and i absolutely love it and i've never actually tried any of the byredo fragrances so very excited to be given this a go the next one is from joe loves and this is their new positano one which is very exciting so it comes in a beautiful positano s box how beautiful is that? It's a really gorgeous sun kiss picture where the sun has just gone down and you've still just got that beautiful glow in the sky. Every fragrance that Jo Loves creates has a beautiful story around it. So they're designed from her memories, which I think is so beautiful. Oh wow, very lemony. Oh, interesting. So fragrance notes of orange oil, bergamot, star anise. Honestly, that is so summery. It's so beautiful. That is incredible. But I think I'm definitely going to save this for more of a summer fragrance. That, how sweet is that? Some jewellery because I picked up a pearl necklace from Monica Veneda. It's one of their new in pieces and I thought it'd be really lovely for Dubai. So this is their new mother of pearl necklace and what i love about it is it's very natural with the very unregular shapes very authentic and i just thought with either a bikini or little strapless top this would look really lovely it's just so beautiful so i picked that up for holiday as well as a bangle that i have in the bathroom and then i picked up a matching pair of studs because i have lost a few of my earrings and I felt like I needed some new and classic pieces for my holes going up the ears. So I picked up these really pretty mother of pearl studs, which I thought would look really lovely going up my ear. So I'll leave those down below as well because I think you can never go wrong with Monica Veneda. I then picked up a pair of Russell and Bromley sandals, which if you know from last year, I had a pair from Russell and Bromley and I literally lived in these. These are just so comfortable. They've actually brought them back out, so I'll leave them down below and they come in brown as well. And they do have them in a bit more of a chunkier version. However, I came across these and I just fell in love. I just love how chunky and white they are. They just go with a lot of my outfits that I'm taking to Dubai. Love the gold details. That's very on my style. Absolutely love them. So I'm definitely taking these and these as my classic pair of flat. And yeah, that is what I thought I'd quickly show you. Everything else I think I'm going to hold off until I'm actually in Dubai because otherwise I feel like this is just going to be a lot to edit down. When I'm in Dubai and I'm getting ready and I'm showing you my outfits of the day, that's when you'll see everything. Looking very picturesque with my accessories. So I'm renting a Celine bag from Cocoon. I've got my Lower Florandla, my Cos Clutch, Russell and Bromley sandals, the bag I wore to the LTK Gala by the Outnet, 
my new mango gold heels which are just so stunning very very cute hello guys it is the next day now i am pretty much packed which is just so pleasing to say i feel like i may just grabbing my matcha i feel like i may have gone overboard but what i'm going to do i've got maybe an hour to have a matcha and kind of just sort the house out and i think i want to do like a final like a repack thing you know when you pack and then you just want to do a final repack just to make sure you've got everything or you don't need anything so that's what i'm going to do i've had a really good day of shooting and getting things done before i head off tomorrow which is just very exciting oh that is a good matcha i thought i'd show you what i'm wearing to the airport because this outfit i'm going to wear on the way back i'm hoping that my friend amber could do a little quick wash for me when i'm out there so it's all fresh for when i come home so this is the look i've decided to go for just a very chic very comfortable look so i've got my abercrombie trousers on it's not a long haul flight it's just six to eight hours so it's not too bad so i just want to be comfortable but look smart as well so i've got my black long sleeve top on from fourth and reckless my rosé jacket and then my abercrombie and fitch trousers and then i've just actually received these new hoff trainers and oh my god they are so comfortable so i instantly chucked those on because you cannot be a fresh pair of trainers and then over here is my tote bag um mum is borrowing that but what i've got in here is my ipad i have my passport i've also got my supplements so i've got my matcha collagen tablets my ag1 green and then in here I've got some makeup bits that I want for the plane my glutamine so that's all ready to go some chargers airpods hair scrunchies so that's what's going to be in there and then I've actually got I'm either going to wear tomorrow my black top or a white top which i'm going to quickly wash at home and then a really thin cashmere jumper from MS, so i can just pop it in here and then i can just take it out when i get to dubai and also as well layers are so key for the plane because it just gets so hot and then also so cold and that is packing done oh my goodness if you're wondering what that is that is tip tape to lift the tips <laughs> So that is me packed, ready for Dubai. So I am gonna get on the train to Brighton now and celebrate this evening with my dad for his birthday. And then I will see you guys in Dubai. <laughs> have arrived in Dubai. Let's do a little room tour. <laughs> <laughs> We're staying at the Grosvenor's Hotel and this is our beautiful bathroom. It's so stunning. Lovely little setup. Then we have a little coffee and tea section which is stunning. And we've got two twin beds and we've got some fruit. Stunning. Hello guys, we've arrived and we have been zhuzhing, refreshing. It's now half 11 and we are about to head down to the Royal Meridian to go meet our friends, to sit on the beach, have a glass of wine, because it's very needed. It was a long haul flight, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was a, it was an interesting one and we've decided that we're not doing economy again. <laughs> A girl can dream. But yeah, it was actually one of the most uncomfortable flights yeah, I've ever really done. Was. And I'm actually really good with economy. I love Emirates, I love BA. But this time around, I think it was an old plane and it wasn't it wasn't given. But anyway, I thought I would do a what I wear in a week to show you what I'm wearing just to make this vlog entertaining because I don't know how much I'm gonna film. So I'm gonna do a what I wore on holiday kind of video and we'll go from there. We are here for a long weekend with our best friend, which is so exciting. We're just about to head down to meet the girls now. We got here around half eight. The flight was, to say the least, interesting. Not the most comfiest flights I've had 
in a very long time actually it was really uncomfortable it was quite an odd plane but we're here we're ready to just go and snooze on the beach which will be just delightful so i'm going to start off with what i'm wearing today to get the vlog rolling i'm going to do a setup like this for now and then i'll show you later on this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing my lebecca two-piece russell and bromley sandals and then i'm renting a celine bag from cocoon I have my Away That Day bikini on and then these are my Taylor Morris sunglasses and then I've got my Saru earrings and necklace and that is my look. So yeah, let's head down to the beach for a very needed glass of wine. Good evening guys, we have just had the loveliest day just chilling at the beach we have just pretty much laid horizontal nodded off caught up with our friends had some really nice lunch at least some pictures and videos of what we got up to and i think this is going to be the kind of style of the vlog where i'll just give you a catch up we are now going over to my friend's house for some pre-drinks and then we're off to a restaurant called Oppa, which is a greek restaurant and it's like all live music and the fun napkins and the dancing so it'll be really fun we are <laughs> we are struggling really really badly with travel and not sleeping so we are literally pushing ourselves through this but we're ready we're ready to go i'm wearing a white outfit to be on theme actually so is mum actually so we're going all white for the the greek styles i'm actually wearing a really lovely top from and other stories it's so beautiful it's this really gorgeous like cult gaia detail and i've paired it with some white shorts and i'm wearing it with some gold heels and a gold bag from here's another mirror from loeffla randler and then my big saru earrings sorry about the lighting the lighting is really bad in here but i've just done a slick back hair look because i feel like the the top does all the talking but yeah this is my outfit for the evening and my fragrance of choice for the evening well for the whole holiday actually is from byredo and actually this hotel we're saying that the groves in this hotel their um all their toiletry products are byredo and it's this one called le chimin and it's really pretty it smells so lovely but the one i'm loving at the moment which i'm working on with space and k is the rose of no man land and it's a really lovely like musky rose scent it's divine i think this is a better lighting to show my accessories but yeah this is my little outfit of the day anyway i'm gonna head out and i will see you guys in a bit morning guys it is the next day and you may see i don't know if you can notice this but i have slept we slept till 10 a.m this morning which was just heaven we had such a fun night last night we went to a place called opera which i would really recommend because it's just such a fun place with your girls your friends it was so fun it's a greek restaurant and you get to smash plates which is just hilarious the theme the vibe it was just so much fun and it's just definitely a place you cannot go wrong to have a good night out there was lots of dancing lots of singing people were going around with shots the food was incredible we had a mixture of chicken and chicken kebabs hummus fish it was unreal really good value as well drinks were really lovely as well even though i didn't drink that much because i was too tired to see wires off a balcony and i was like is someone gonna come and clean these windows right in front of me vlogging but yeah it was really good food and really good vibes and then they had this guy who was kind of like a chef i think he was the owner come around and like serve the hummus like so he'd make the hummus in front of you like it was just really cool but i was just super tired from yesterday and just absolutely knackered even though we still we still made it through the whole day we didn't even get home till midnight so we did very well but i was a very very tired little girl but round two we are just about to head out the door as we are going for a brunch and i've done one of the brunches here before and no one does brunches like dubai they are just so fun and really good and we're going to mont 32 i think i'll leave on the screen i'll leave all the clips and everything like that so i thought i'd show you my outfit of the day we're on the balcony um i don't know if you can hear me too much but i feel like this is the easiest day area i can do so my top is from h&m and i got this a while i had this in black a while 
while ago and then I saw it came in cream and I just thought it was so beautiful. And I've actually just paired it with the bra underneath is from H&M as well. It's a really lovely like, kind of like a bikini triangle bra. It's really comfortable when it comes in set. And it's got a really cute bow. My shorts are, oh actually I don't know if I need to iron my shorts. These are old River Island but I do like that they're kind of I've had them for ages and they've got this really lovely gold detail on the, the belt and it gives very like Chloe vibes, it's really lovely. Jewellery, whilst I'm here, this is from Monica Veneda. This is Saru. Rings are Monica Veneda. This beautiful diamond bang ring, my mum and I have it, but it's from the diamond store. And then this is from Monica Veneda as well. These earrings, I can't remember the brand, but they're from the Outnet and I'll leave them down below and some similar. Shoe wise, I'm wearing my June sandals because they are just so comfortable. Bag is from COD and then I'm going to be wearing my Taylor Morris sunglasses because I just think they're very chic with the look. Hi mum! Hi! And yeah, this is my outfit for the day! Mother, do you want to come out? <laughs> She's watching me! <laughs> This Hello. is mum! <laughs> what are you wearing? So I've got my Rust and Bromley shoes up. These are the comfiest heels best, best. ever. Best. Rust and Bromley are the best. Yes. Caramel and Schultz in the South. Absolutely yes. stunning. And this is my H&M blouse. Really yeah, lovely. Yeah, we're both H&M. Yeah. And what are your glasses? Celine. Celine. Which I borrowed. Celine, Celine. So yeah. So excited. Round amazing. two. Let's go. <laughs> is my outfit of the day in person. I just thought I'd do this because I didn't know if you'd hear me on the balcony and I thought this was quite a cute setup. So top is H&M, shorts are for Island, shoes are due, bag is Cos, sunglasses are Taylor Morris, earrings are from the Outnet. I think it's called Sara something. I'm not too sure. Jewelry is Monica Veneda, Diamond Store, Monica Veneda, and then Saru and Monica Veneda as well. This is my outfit of the day! Yesterday we did a bottomless brunch at 32 Mott. It was really good, really fun. It wasn't my style of food and I've been to one before called Clap and the sushi there was like incredible. The food was nice but, but it was just quite like just right. It's like it was Chinese food and it's not really my cuisine. But we had such a lovely time. The view was incredible. The staff were amazing. We had so much fun. We then ended up going to Ritz Carlton which is a hotel along the beach from the Royal Meridian for some drinks and it's stunning now. I think I really want to go back and visit there maybe for a coffee tomorrow morning. But to say the least we we're feeling all a little bit jaded. We drank so much and we you know when it comes to watching this brunch it just does not stop pouring so yeah feeling very worse for wear but we've woken up had some breakfast at the hotel we're staying in and we are ready for the day we are heading off to drift it's on the beach i believe and it's a kind of like a pool day and we've booked a couple of beds and we're just going to chill so i thought i could show you what i'm wearing the bikini i'm wearing is from away that day and it's a high-waisted two-piece which i absolutely love i think it comes in white as well and i think it'd be really lovely for wedding attire so beautiful so i'll show you that when i get there and then i've actually just put on my old and other stories black crochet dress which just goes to the bottom just taking the Celine bag. I'm also wearing my Russell and Bromley sandals, which are from last year, but they do have them back in stock. And then I'm pairing it with my black YSL sunnies because I literally think these are like my identity. Like on Instagram, I literally wear these in every photo. I just love them. I feel like I want to get them in the tortoise shell color as well. But yeah, this is 
my little outfit of the day. I really like it. I think it's very chic, very easy. I really like this this Celine bag as well. I think it's really lovely. Um, but this is the small version, and I actually quite like it. It's got this little strap, easy to like hold in it because the handles for the mini ones are quite small. That's quite. I do love that, especially when you're in Dubai. Like you don't need to bring towels or anything like that. That will all be there on the bed. So yeah, it's quite handy little bag. I do love this hat. It's very cute. So yeah, this is my little outfit of the day. I will leave everything down below. Like I said, this crochet dress is old, so I will try and find some similar, but it is a very good, handy little piece. guys it is later now we have come home just and we're now heading back out we're going to the royal meridian for dinner we're going to a asian restaurant i thought i'd quickly show you my outfit for the day so first off jewelry wise so first off jewelry wise i'm wearing these black saru gold earrings and then big bangles i've got my monica Fineda one and the saru is the kind of like the snake one and then my uh, monica Fineda band and then it's got the diamond store band on as well i'm wearing the rose top which is just so so cute and I'm really excited to wear it in England as well with some jeans I feel like that'd be really cute super comfortable it's quite a nice one for day and night but when you're feeling like you don't know what to wear it's quite a good one to chuck on and it's just so pretty and it's quite like a thick silk material it's really sweet and really puffy and it's got really lovely puffy sleeves and then I'm just pairing it with a black slip maxi skirt some black heels and then this lower florandla clutch bag which I just absolutely love and then lipstick tonight because I get quite Quite co a lot of comments on this is the hourglass temp lip liner and then it is it is it's this one this is the hourglass in trace it's like quite a nice like dark color and it's like quite nice and buildable so yeah that is my outfit for this evening very comfortable a lot of room for more food not that we need any but yeah gonna head over to the royal meridian now because you can actually get from grosvenor's house hotel and get a shuttle bus which is free and it takes you straight to uh, the Royal Meridian because it's in like partnership or I think they're owned by the same people um, so you can actually go to the pool there which is quite handy and easy it's like a five minute shuttle bus it's so quick so that's where we're heading now. hello everybody it is our final day in Dubai and got up early we've had our breakfast and we are heading down super early to have a full day on the beach at the Royal Meridian I just got myself ready so I thought I'd quickly show you what I am wearing so outfit of the day is super cute it's from a company called Rosai and it's a really cute crochet little number I absolutely adore it it's so sweet and I've just got underneath a bikini from Odin Ray which is super sweet kind of similar to the away that day one it's got a really cute ring detail detail here for the see so I'm in a all white look today sandals are from Russell and Bromley they are so comfortable. They do come in black as well. I went for white because I just thought they were so sweet and I absolutely adore them. I'm going to be wearing my Fendi sunglasses today, just like big chunky ones. Also got a hat from Reese. And then to match the brown tone, obviously I'm just going to keep to my Celine brown bag, which is, this is the small size. Someone's asking what size I got. This is the small and it comes with a really cute strap like this. I actually think this is a bit more versatile this size. I think you can wear it more for the city and like more for like day to day. Or it's quite, quite a big like shop bag, so if you've got a towel and things like that, then that's amazing. But I prefer the small size. So yeah, this is my little outfit of the day. Very cute. last 
evening. So I thought I'd quickly finalise this video with the final outfit of tonight. We're going to a, ho a restaurant in a hotel. I can't remember what it's called, but it's in Tower 2. There's two hotels. As you can see, one has got a little bit pink. Just a really random area of my, my chest here. But other than that, we've had a really lovely day tanning and it's just been so nice and chilled. So my final look of the night is a dress from Forever New. I wore this to my friend Abby and George's wedding. It's a really gorgeous brown linen maxi dress. Super flattering, super comfortable. It's not bodycon, but it does give that bodycon effect, but there's still a lot of room for food, which is lovely. And then it's like a really nice halter neck. And then I'm wearing it with my gold mango heels and my Lewefler Randler bag. But yeah, that is what I am wearing for tonight final dinner. We are flying at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. There's mother in her <laughs> cute little shirt two-piece. But that is the end of the little video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will leave everything down below. If you want any more information when it comes to any of the links or outfits, um, head over to my Instagram and also on my like to do it. But other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.